Hey guys, in this video I am going to review this lithium iron phosphate battery from a power queen. I've got this battery for 12 volts project and uh, in this video I'm going to do in-depth testing for this battery. We'll do capacity test which is happening right now. We'll do stress test and we'll disassemble this battery. We'll see how well it's built from inside. If you're interested, let's jump into the video. In a package with a battery, we're getting this operation guide for beginners with information what kind of appliances you can connect to this battery or what we cannot do with it. For example, it's not recommended to disassemble this package. Then we're getting this owner's manual and then we're getting uh, this bag with uh, four bolts with a split washer for terminals and the two terminal covers. Voltage from the factory for this battery is um, 13.18 volts and here's the specification for this battery capacity is a 2.4 kilowatt hours recommended charge current 0.2 c rating 38 amps however we can charge and discharge with 150 amps 1 c rating and maximum discharge current is uh, 350 amps uh, up to 5 seconds and uh, right here is operating temperature for this battery pack now let's fully charge this battery and we'll do capacity test first And the inverter just stopped charging the battery and I'm going to apply 500 watts load which is going to be about 0.2 C rating for the battery and uh, let's come back in about five hours and we will see what is the capacity for this pack and the inverter just shut it down so we've got 2.45 kilowatt hours 199 amp hour and test took four hours 51 minutes and now I want to test if this battery can start V8 truck. If it's not going to be able to start the truck, we'll see if it has a short circuit protection. Because this engine is going to act as a short circuit. with 13.6 volts nope it was not able to start and uh, now I'm going to open this battery uh, it has IP65 rating where 6 means it's dust sealed and 5 means it could withstand the water from nozzles with a low pressure water. So th that means the battery is all around it sealed and we will have to break uh, this cover to open this battery. And here is a battery fully disassembled. It took a while because it was glued at the bottom of this box, but baby powder helped to break this connection. So right here is the four cells. I can see some number right here. I will do a picture. So then we have date, uh, uh, what is it? April 24th, 2022. And uh, here is a battery management system. I see power queen right here, 150 amps. And uh, then we have uh, uh, multiple uh, 12 gauge wires connected to battery negative and then multiple 12 gauge wires going to uh, P negative to the battery negative. For temperature protection I don't see any except a high um, temperature protection which is a thermostat right here. It's set it for 70 Celsius and uh, that's all I can see about temperature protection. And now I want to fully charge this battery and I will see 
at what voltage BMS cuts in charging. So what is interesting right now, we, we see 189 millivolts voltage difference. This uh, battery was cycled once. All right, now let's connect charger. And we'll see what is going to be voltage difference when uh, it's going to stop charging. And BMS cut off for charging at 365 volts per cell. And the voltage difference right now is 264 milli. And now I'm going to do load testing for this battery. I'm going to drain 150 amps or as close as I can get to 150. And we have this meter attached to see what is the vo cell voltage difference is going to be. Right now it's 196. Then we have this capacity meter attached. And uh, we're going to measure temperature. How warm is going to be BMS, wires and cells. We're 143 amps let's confirm this here 145 and right now cell voltage difference it dropped immediately to 22 millivolts so we're running test three minutes so let's come back in about 30 minutes and we'll see where we are we are running for 45 minutes and we draw 107 amp hours let's check temperature bms at 120 wires about same temperature and cells they are at the room temperature about 80 Fahrenheit on the top cell voltage difference 3 millivolts and we're running test right now for 1 hour 15 minutes we draw 180 amp hours here's a cell voltage so far 83 millivolt difference and the BMS is staying at about 136 wires 131 and cells at 90 Fahrenheit And now let's try to overload this battery. Uh, I'm going to attach 3 kilowatts of load, which is maximum for this inverter. And we'll see how BMS is going to handle this. So BMS is getting, uh, getting really hot. Uh, over 180 Fahrenheit, 182 maximum I saw and looks like it's not cutting down the power so looks like only protection here ouch this high temperature disconnect which is set at for 70 celsius and uh, it's not touching BMS or cells directly so it needs to be really warm inside to make this thermostat to work so here's a stress test. That's all tests I want to perform for this battery. Uh, to summarize results, positive items. We've got 119 powers at 0.2C rating and close to this capacity at 1C rating. Short circuit protection works. High voltage cell disconnect works uh, as expected, 365 volts per cell. IP65 rating confirmed. This battery was nicely sealed. Then negative items, we did see some cell imbalance at high voltage. Uh, it did not affect results, so maybe it's okay, I'm not sure. For load test, we did uh, 300 amps and BMS do not disconnect load. It was at 180 uh, Fahrenheit and it's still running. So it's overheating and it did not disconnect load. For temperature protection, we have only high temperature protection, 70 Celsius. So I think this sensor could be improved. That's all about this battery. As always, thank you for watching and see you later.